and we then things can change. Yeah. But they have to come. It has to be a, you know, a, a, it has to be a done in a systematic way, and there has to be rather than yes, it's good to have one champion. Don't get me wrong, but if it comes from if it comes from the top down board level, CEO, president, hmm. members, you know, all those sorts of things, then you've got really something substantial to fall back on, and it has to take a whole club approach. And we're doing those sorts of things now. We've just got a grant um, recently. Um, and I called it, um, so it was a breakthrough mental health grant and also uh, with Arama Institute. And it's called um, taking a village approach because, you know, we you say- a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child. So we're saying my argument is that every child in Australia at some point will go through, might only be for a day or two, but it might be for many years, we'll go through a sporting club at some point. Yeah. Because that's just kind of what we do here in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're going to have contact with a sporting club. So there has to be someone within that club that has the capacity to understand and champion inclusive behaviours, including mental health. Um, the, the types of attitudes we have, the, the, the behaviour, the language, all those sorts of things. So that club needs to take a whole village approach to raising that child around those sorts of issues. And that becomes then um, uh, a real safe space for that child. Yeah, because sport is so important yep. for raising children. Yeah. Like I, This is where it's super interesting as well mm. because sport, anything, creates almost a pathway to life. Yeah. So where do you find that balance of, I guess there's there, there will be people that, that could listen to this and will listen on the topics we're talking about going, masculinity, what a load of, what a load of yeah. crap. And it's, you're, you're just going to soften people yeah. up and you're yeah. just going to, but there has to be, that. Where where is your line for allowing people to become almost too protected and then actually ready for, for life because we uh, we are, i my personal opinion is that there are parents are at the moment are yeah. super protective of but i actually don't think this is in a mas masculinity space this is in a success and failure yeah. space i'm going to hide from failure uh, whereas you need it you need to you need to uh, have yeah, that. but yeah, then, yeah, the, yeah. then the male construct yeah. of the environment is really important for dealing with success dealing yeah. with failure yeah, because yeah, yeah. they can either shoot you down yep. and they can they can bash you into the ground even yeah. harder or they can build you up and try to resurrect they, you they a little can. bit more. Okay, I'll, I'll give you an example then. Um, uh, so back when I was facing, you know, the fast bowler, um, I, I can guarantee you it, when, after I'd broken my nose and I'm facing that fast bowler, Simon Davis, and the whiz ball's whizzing around my head and everything, and I just, in my head right there and then, I'd, I'd checked out. That was it. If I'd gone to my coach and, and or the fast bowlers and the other guys and I'd said, look, guys, I'm really struggling here. I'm really struggling facing this bowling. I'm really scared. I don't think I can do this. I don't know how they would have reacted. Back then, I really don't know because it, it's kind of like it was like a – you know, it, it's like it was like a dog eat dog kind of attitude. You know, well, if you can't hack it, then don't play. Move on, yeah. yeah. So, whereas I was a pretty decent cricketer, I thought, but I've lost to the sport. I'm lost to the sport. I, I never ever played another game. I never ever batted again. I, I never batted again, ever. Never put on a pair of pads again. 